Around the world, millions of people are on the move. Today, we're looking at global migration patterns, why people move, where they go, and what it means for the world. Migration means moving from one place to another, often across long distances or for a long period of time. People migrate for many reasons, finding jobs, escaping danger, joining family, or looking for better opportunities. For example, many people from Mexico have moved to the United States for work, while people from Syria have fled conflict and sought safety in countries like Germany or Turkey. When people enter a country, it's called immigration, spelt with an I at the beginning. When they leave, it's called emigration, spelt with an E at the beginning. And the balance between the two is called net migration. For example, Canada has a positive net migration. It attracts more immigrants than it loses immigrants. On the other hand, some countries facing war or economic struggles experience negative net migration as more people are leaving their country than immigrating into it. There are several types of migration and each has real world examples. Voluntary migration is when people choose to move. For example, a student moving from India to Australia to go to college. Forced migration happens when you have no choice, such as Ukrainians leaving their country because of war, or people displaced by natural disasters like the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. Internal migration is movement within a country. In China, millions have moved from rural villages to booming cities like Shanghai or Beijing. International migration is crossing national borders, like people moving from Poland to the United Kingdom for work. Interregional migration means moving from one region of a country to another. For example, people moving from northern to southern Italy in search of jobs. Intraregional migration happens within the same area, such as moving from one neighborhood in London to another, or from a small town outside of Sydney to the city center itself. The migration transition is a model that explains how migration changes as countries develop. In poorer or less developed countries, people often move out of rural areas in search of safety or work. For example, many people from rural parts of Sub-Saharan Africa have migrated to cities in hopes of finding jobs. As countries become wealthier, they begin to attract immigrants. For example, in the 1800s, a lot of people left Germany for the United States and Canada. But now, in the 2000s, Germany has become one of the leading destinations in Europe, drawing immigrants from Turkey, Syria, and across the European Union for work and safety. There are some major global migration flows geographers pay attention to, from Latin America to North America, such as workers moving from Mexico or Central America to the United States, from South Asia to Europe or the Middle East, like workers from India or Pakistan moving to jobs in the United Arab Emirates, from Africa to Europe, with many crossing the Mediterranean Sea seeking safety and opportunity, from Southeast Asia to Australia and other countries, for example, Filipinos moving abroad to work in healthcare and service jobs. Overall, people tend to move from place to place with fewer economic opportunities to a place with more safety, education, and jobs. So migration isn't just about terms. It's about real people moving for work, safety, family, or opportunity. By learning about migration patterns, we can better understand how our world is constantly connected and changing. Thanks for watching.